These are scenes from some of Tobago's Atlantic Coast to beaches earlier this year. It was the first major influx of sargassum, a brown seaweed which is a type of algae. Director of the Coastal Zone Management Unit, Howard Robin, gave some insight into this phenomenon. In its locations in the Sargasso Sea, it, it has a lot of good, good things associated with it. Um, however, what we have been affected with now is not, the origin is not primarily the Sargasso Sea. What we have now is that some of that Sargasso have moved down to another area close to um, Brazil and in that location. And that is called the North Equatorial Recirculation Region. It's much closer to the, the equator. Unlike the Sargasso Sea, this area has even better conditions for the proliferation of Sargasso. So that is the situation that we have now where they have found a new home in an area that provides almost the perfect conditions for them to explode. And that is the consequence that we are seeing within the Caribbean region. So once the Sargasso leaves the, the North Equatorial Recirculation Region, it comes up with the, with the currents. And fortunately, it doesn't always beach. So there's always sargassum in our area. It just depends on the natural conditions, the wind, the currents and so on, that determines whether or not it actually comes to shore. When it comes to shore, um, if it stays for an extended period of time and it's in the water, it starts to, to decay under conditions that are anaerobic and it produces gases that are, sometimes you smell it, that is the hydrogen sulfide, as well as ammonia. And these gases can affect people who have respiratory problems, people who, who, who don't have problems at all, they are affected by it because the smell is something that, that is not very good for, for human beings in particular. It also affects your equipment. So the cables in your refrigerators, televisions, etc. They tend to corrode if they are exposed for an extended period under, under those conditions. We can expect in, in some locations, particularly in Lambo and in Speyside, that we will see sargassum throughout the remainder of the year, possibly up to, to August, September, because the sargassum period has extended from, from April to, to August. It has extended sometimes from February all the way to, to September. So we will see some significant beaches and the population can be assured if those conditions require some type of intervention, even if it's be of a mechanical nature, those will have to be done. But not every single beaching of Sargassum will receive a response of a mechanical nature. When Sargassum beaches and you make an intervention, especially a mechanical intervention, you remove sand in the process. And if that intervention is repeated continually in a location, over time what you'll be doing is removing excessive amount of sand and causes your beaches to erode. Tobago is a part of the Japanese UNDP pilot project, which seeks to explore the best strategies for managing the influx of sargassum in our marine environment. Beyond this pilot project, the Tobago House of Assembly is guided by a sargassum response plan. It speaks to a lot of different things that includes how we manage sargassum, when do we make interventions. It speaks to the development of an early warning system. It speaks to how we communicate the information to the public. As well as it speaks to research and development going forward. But at present, we, we don't encourage individuals to use the sargassum to do fertilizers and, and other things. What we do try to inform them is that of the potential negative impacts. And we have recommended that any type of industry associated with the use of sargassum, you have to do those um, tests to evaluate what are the quantities of potential heavy metals and other impurities that, that it con could contain. This is indeed the, the new normal. Sargassum, as we have seen, is, is here to stay and we are going to go to our beaches and on occasions there will be sargassum. Um, we want to continue to use those beaches and the, the coastal zone management unit 
want to ensure that those beaches remain usable. And because of that, we have to be cautious about doing interventions, particularly mechanical interventions that can indirectly remove excessive amount of sand over time and remove or disrupt your ability as a, as a public to enjoy those pristine beaches that we, we all love to use. That was a production of the Department of Information, Office of the Chief Secretary, Tobago House of Assembly.